Hi, I'm Stephanie and I've had it for one year. Three and a half years. Five years. Or five years. Seven years. Five and a half years. Two and a half, three years. Hi, my name's Miles Compton. Hi, my name's Aaron. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Hello, I'm Oliver. My name's Aaron Walker. Hi, I'm Joan. Hi, my name's Orson. I've been a type 1 diabetic for seven years. I like diabetes because I'm part of the JDRS Association. I like skipping the queues at lunch, uh, skipping the queues at theme parks and having an early lunch sometimes. Um, and sometimes my dad gives me chocolate biscuits or sweets at night. I like um, eating and meeting new doctors. <laughs> I like sweets and high patriot items. a lot since I've had type 1 diabetes. Um. I learnt about how to, uh, what different readings are high, low or okay. I've learnt, um, since I, I didn't know about the pancreas or about any, um, about the glucose cells before I had diabetes so it's good to know about them. I've learnt about a thumb. I don't have to think of it. I have learnt what different blood readings mean. For example, 2.9 is too low, 18.3 is too high, and 6.4 is in range. I learnt where the islets of Langer are. The things I've learnt um, after having type 1 diabetes are don't panic when you test in public um, because everyone will get used to it, and if you panic, it brings more attention to it. There's new research into diabetes these days. I've got this thing called a Freestyle Libra where you can, it's a new way to test your blood that's just been released. If I show you into my bag, I've got a special blood reader, which you can, which called Freestyle Libra, you scan it and it tells you your blood reading and if you're going higher or lower. I find this useful because it shows you graphs and if your bloods are going higher or lower so you can inject the right amount and not go low. Yes, some really some interesting things about diabetes and important things are that the English and American have two different systems of how you test your blood sugar. Mainly, I'd say that you should really wash your hands before you test because it can make the readings really inaccurate. Use these three fingers. You should be rotating when doing your blood test using the sides of your fingers, not the middle. This, if you use the middle too much, it can lose in, you can lose sense in your fingers. That drink water if you're high, because it will bring your levels down. Uh, if you ever feel low or feel a bit off, is always test straight away and treat your hypos as, as quick as possible. Have a variety of injection sites and. Uh, pump sites because otherwise it can get the insulin can block up those sites so you won't be able to use them anymore. And test before exercise because if you don't test then you'll be high or low. Then if you exercise you might make you worse. If you're ever feeling or you're in any trouble at all, always talk to someone and always make sure you have someone to rely on. Or even if it's a teacher they can always help you so always have someone to tell. We met each other in a diabetic camp in the summer at Liddington, Windmill Hill. Yeah, it was, it was a really good time. <laughs> we le I learned a lot from it and uh, as you can tell by Will's laughter, there was many enjoyable experiences shared. I think it was good meeting other diabetics as far as apart from yourself because you can get new experiences and learn new things and meet new people. Be proud of who you are and that you have this disease because you can't get rid of it. 
there is other people with diabetes. You can donate money and you can also raise money for diabetes and try and find a cure. Everyone who has diabetes is hoping to find a cure and the many ideas that people have thought of that may find a cure for us. Thank you. Yeah.